Good morning. Glad to be with you this morning. Enjoying some good southern roots. That Papua New Guinea blend that they have this morning. And how about a special morning? How about that, how about that, that Christmas gift right there I got yesterday, huh? <laughs> Can't beat good coffee and a good mug, huh? Mmm. Man. Good stuff right there. I want to get into the good word this morning. This this Sunday we're um, lighting the Advent candle for peace. And that is one thing I've told everybody over and over and over again. If you ever know, want to know what to get me, you know what I want? I want peace. <laughs> I want peace of mind. I want peace in general all around me. I want to understand and I want to live within the, the peace of God. That's what I want. I, I struggle, uh, you know, I strive for, I guess, struggle for peace. And that be something. I strive for peace everywhere that I go. Every, wherever I work, whatever jobs I'm in, whatever groups of people I'm around, I try my best to be a peacemaker. That's, that's just what I think I've been called to do, and it's what I enjoy doing, to be honest with you. You know, and I love it this time of year. Peace, peace, peace. We actually see it in big letters in a lot of places. Peace. We realize that what has come is peace. You know what the angels said when they came to the shepherds? They said, what glory to God in the highest and on earth. What peace, peace and goodwill toward men. We read that in Luke chapter 2. Y'all need to be in Luke chapter 2 in this coming week for sure. But they said down there, the angel said, peace on earth. You know what that peace on earth was? It was Jesus Jesus was now on earth. Jesus was there. Jesus was with them. Emmanuel, God with us. He was right there. Peace was finally on earth. You know, and I begin, to, we, we look at this time of year. How can any of this happen? How This is just so, so miraculous. And I, I think I like to go back to the word that Paul uses, the, the mystery. Sometimes we forget that and we lose that. You know, some denominations push the mystery, but some of us have forgotten the the mystery, the, the true supernatural, the expansion of what God done is outside of our realm of reality, our realm of conception, <laughs> literally, an immaculate conception in this point, but I mean in our ability to conceive things in minds, not only conceive within the body, which is the way he chose the first time. He chose to conceive and, and to come through himself and to indwell within a, a woman, within one of us to be with us literally and he still today wants to be with us he wants to have that peace of god to be within us yes it's a mystery there's a mystery found at the cross and you go back there's a mystery in the manger i like what paul says he says that that this this peace that we have that this peace is beyond and passes all understanding the peace of God, which surpasses and passes and is beyond all our understanding. We don't have to understand it. We have to accept it. God is giving you the gift of peace. Are you going to take it? And then when you take it, are you going to share it to others? Wouldn't you like to have some peace? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to experience the peace of God? I mean, come on. It's right there right, waiting for us to accept it, waiting for us to take it. I want to try and challenge you this Sunday to find a church to be in, to be able to be among fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, if you have accepted Christ. If you have never accepted Christ, now is definitely the time to come in and be within the, the, the dwelling of peace, to find that peace. You know, make sure you're in a church that, that feeds peace, that strives for peace. Now, the peace of God, not just the peace of man, that's different. The peace of God is what we're looking for. I want to pray for you this morning, but I want to pray for you a blessing. The blessing that Paul gave to the church in 2 Thessalonians 3.16. He says, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way the Lord be with you. Look, it's a short message this morning, but... Uh, I'm not going to say it's a simple message. It's a mystery built around the mystery of peace. And I want you to do everything you can to go out there and find that peace. And share that peace with others. Look, you know the deal. You know God loves you. Please never forget that I love you. Just keep going out there and being awesome just like you are. Don't forget to find a good cup of coffee. You know, I don't always enjoy drinking my coffee by myself in the morning here too. 
Y'all are always welcome to come find me. Oh, I did forget. Put in your comments and when you share, just share something. Let us know something, what you're thinking. I'm going to put you in. I got some, some coffee to give away. I'm going to give away some Southern Roots. So be in and put your comments out there. And those of you who share, I'm going to go and follow your shares. And we're gonna, I'm going to get you in the, in the drawing for some coffee here. Who doesn't want something free for Christmas, right? Look, as a piece of God, it's free. Christ paid the debt. Go out there and enjoy. Y'all have a great day.